Is, your question? Yeah, Nettie, is there a possible No, you? I will not answer your questions after you said you wanted to cut my head off. I do want to cut your you're head off. Okay, well, you're a fucking cunt. You are going to die in your sins. Please, right, I'm going to keep doing it. Fucking you fucking death. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. You're a piece of shit. Yeah, I got more of a right to be here. You don't have a right to touch my personal property. Listen, I'm going to find you. Right? You're not going to do nothing and to me. I'm going to rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. And you did nothing. Let me have the microphone. Don't touch me. Let me have the microphone. No, I'm not you touch nothing. Right. No, no, go get your own microphone. I'm gonna, gonna peel. I'm gonna peel your skin off. I'm, your I'm still body. waiting. I've been waiting for months. You're gonna peel my skin off my body. You're gonna cut my head off. I've been hearing this for months. What well, I'm asking you're you, you to please go somewhere else. You're a liar, and you're a coward, is what you are. I'm asking you to because if you were really gonna do that, you would have done it by now. I'm asking you to go somewhere else. I'm asking you to please go somewhere else. Why? Because this is where we live. So then move away. You go Move somewhere. away! I, I can't. You I can't. go somewhere else. Dude, I spent a million dollars on my house over here. Cool. Spent a million dollars on your house. Yeah. Well then sell it and, move, and get the million dollars and buy a different house if you don't want to hear me. Because I have freedom of speech, there freedom of religion. There are other streets. There are other streets. Well, I go to other streets too. But I come here because this is where God sends me. Because well, maybe, he need, maybe he wants the word to be reached by you and that's why he keeps sending me here. See, you live right here. That's not a coincidence. And you need the gospel. That ain't no coincidence. Amen, brother. Amen. Thank, Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. See, the Bible says the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes. God bless you, sir. It says to fear the Lord our God, that he might preserve us alive as it is at this day. And I tell you people, you need to be born again. You need the gospel. See, because that's the only way for people to be saved from judgment. It's appointed unto man once to die, then after this to judgment. See, judgment is imminent. We all have a natural death sentence. See, but Jesus said, whoever believes in me will never die. Oh, why would you die, says the Lord. He says he takes no delight in the death of the wicked, but rather that they turn and live. We've been out here for more than an hour. Right? Actually, I just got here about five minutes ago. So... Five I, about five minutes, yeah. Well, what's your point by that? Somebody said you've been here an hour. Sir. Somebody said that? You just said that. And you didn't obviously have your facts straight because I just got here. All right, so then. Actually, uh, I'll tell you right now. Six minutes, six and a half minutes about. Yeah. No, actually, no. I'm going to stay here as long as God leads me to stand here. So if you want to listen, I'll probably be here maybe longer than that. No, because the ordinance is you got an hour. I don't care what the ordinance says. If anything goes against God's law, I don't obey. I don't. I don't obey man's law. If it goes against God's law, God's law tells me to go into the world and preach the gospel. So I'm gonna preach here as long as God leads me to. So you can listen if you want, or you could just you leave. Got a, you got an hour. That's I don't. You don't tell me what I got. God tells me. And so I'm going to stay out here as long as God tells me. If it's five minutes, if it's five hours. Or until the police come. Well, you can call the police all you want. Go ahead and call them. I'm not afraid of the police. I'm not afraid of your empty threats. I'm here to preach, man. And you yeah. should listen. But you, because but, you know what? From what I see, I the fruits them. that I see, I you don't have Jesus Christ in your life. I have, I have. And you're going to need him on judgment day. Go ahead and call the police, man. I already told you. Yeah, but you gotta leave. I don't gotta do nothing. I don't have to listen to you, man. Well, somebody will beat you over the head. Okay, well, I'm not afraid of man. It says, fear not him who can kill the body and afterward do no more. But rather fear him. That's why you, you got a camera. Who after can cast your body and soul into hell. You don't know why I got this camera. That's why you got a camera. I share this, I share these videos with people to edify them. So you need to get your facts straight, buddy. The fact of the matter is, a life without Jesus Christ is going to lead to your destruction. A life with Jesus Christ is going to lead to you having to stand on a fucking plastic box. And I love doing it. I love doing it for my God. It makes me, it makes me so happy. I'm so blessed by it. But you rather live in your sin, and that's what, that's what makes you feel good. That's what fulfills your fancy. Whatever your sin is, if it's homosexuality, pornography, that's the desires of your flesh, the lust of your flesh. If you live after the flesh, you will die. You're going to die, sir. But Jesus Christ can redeem you today. You don't have that smirk on your face when you stand in front of him. So he's going to have his angels bind your hands and feet together. He's going to cut your tongue out of your mouth. He's going to cast you into the lake of fire. See, but God does not desire the death of the wicked, but rather that they turn to live.